It's possible there are still some clues left from 18 years ago. Right, let's get started! Oh. And back to the present with the present rivals. Sigh. Just one second, don't tell me you've forgotten about me! Actually, I kinda wish I had. Didn't I tell you that I'm the one in charge of this case? Prosecutor Edgeworth, if you intend to continue disrupting Sebastian's investigation, the word guilty will be added to your PIC report. <sighs> what does she mean, guilty? Please allow me to assist in your investigation as before. I appreciate your proposal, but I'm afraid I must overrule it. That was fast. Even though we're short on hands to identify the victim right now, it's only a matter of time until we figure it out. In that case, I shall take that load off your shoulders at once. Regarding the identity of the unidentified body, one person comes to mind. Really? Then tell us! Oh! Are we actually saying it's Dover? Even though it looks like a chick from the back? Hmm. Very well. It's not just the sculptures that have made a comeback from the incident 18 years ago. Oh my god, we're going there! It's Dover! The body in the fountain is... It's Dover. However, after 18 years, um, a body would have completely... You know, it would have skeletalized by then. There wouldn't be any flesh left if it was actually dead. Which means I think we are assuming that he was still alive. I mean, duh, but just, you know, for more confirmation. It's likely that the identity of the body is the victim of the murder that occurred here 18 years ago. Isaac Dover. Eh? It's Icy Body? Hey, who's that? I never heard of him! Mr. Isaac Dover, a truly great sculptor. But he was better known as Pierre Hoquet. The sculptures on display here in the museum are all his creations. Ah, so in other words, that sculptor was the best. Somehow I feel a strong kinship to him. And he was the victim in the IS-7 incident. She knew about the IS-7 incident. Looks like she's not completely stupid in this matter. Prosecutor Edgeworth, the IS-7 incident occurred 18 years ago. And what's more, the police reported the removal of the body. Mm-hmm. That's what's on the record, but I wonder if that really is the truth. What are you saying? The defense attorney in the I-7 incident claimed that the body was never found. Not that the prosecution would ever admit to such a thing. Let me guess they're going to confirm it is uh, uh, Dover's body, body, probably. Hello, uh, really? Is something wrong, Sebastian? No, it's just, uh, they said that they know who the victim is. It's just as the prosecutor, uh, says. It's Dover. No, it can't be. It is, bitch. Hmm. It would seem my father's suspicions were correct. What is it, Judge Courtney? Have you finally realized that I'm much more helpful than Mr. DeBestie? <laughs> hey, you! Are you trying to steal DeBestie position for yourself? I'm doing no such thing. I just want to know the truth. And for that to happen, we need to cooperate, no? The truth is none of your concern. Objection. I don't think that's true, Courtney Pie. <laughs> I said it before I even read the pie. I just remembered he said he used pie. You again. Uncle Ray assisted the defense attorney involved in the IS-7 incident. The one who claimed that Mr. Dover's body was never found. Aha! So fuck you. I have every right to know. Prosecution denied it at the time. Now the body's been discovered here. In other words, the IS-7 investigation was unjust. And isn't it the duty of the PIC to investigate corrupt prosecutors? Ugh. Although, this corrupt prosecutor is dead, but what are you gonna do? Then, wouldn't you want to cooperate with those who were involved in the case? Unless, you have an ulterior motive, bitch! It should be B-I-C for bitch and qu qu You're a bitch. Yeah. 
Now that I think about it, Judge Courtney knew about the IS-7 incident. So it would seem she really is here because of the PIC. Even if you're related to the incident, I don't see how Prosecutor Edgeworth is. Because I'm his son, you bitch! He's the son of the attorney in that case, and a prosecutor taught by Von Karma himself. And what's more, he was in the audience of the I-7 trial. I'm sure there are many points he can enlighten us on. Ugh. Very well. I will allow you to cooperate, bitch! However, your investigation must not hinder the other investigators. Yeah, just, uh, uh, same goes for you guys. Don't hinder me and my smartness. And don't try to cover anything up like you did with the nightly incident, you bitch! The Winter Palace is currently being investigated, but the Fountain Patio is open to you. For once, I didn't say Platio! Score! That's my Courtney Pie, now we're talking! As thanks, I'll allow you to have a hug with Uncle Ray. Overruled! Psst. Really, your cooperation isn't needed, I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. Nah. Isn't that great, Miles? Now we can start investigating. You really helped us there. I thought he was gonna say something like, you really helped us out there, or you really helped us through this situation, not, you really helped us there. Not a fan of that wording, but okay. <laughs> Uncle Ray did it all for himself. Hmm. All right, Uncle Ray is gonna investigate too. Just let me know if you figure something out. Got it. This will be our first time really investigating in the present. Right then, Kay, let's begin the investigation. Okay, let's do this. We still don't know where Mr. Dover's body and the Normalium were hidden. We don't have enough information to go on. You're right. Our first priority is the Normalium. Well, Normalium is used in washing detergents, paints, and the like. If I recall, it's a red liquid with a minty aroma. Normalium red liquid with mini aroma. Well then, let's get looking for that Normalium. Oh boy, back to the future, again. Uh, alright, Kay, what's up? What's up? Notice anything? I wonder if this case and the I-7 incident are connected somehow. Oh, you think? It's hard to say for certain right now, but I also don't think they are completely unrelated. But your father was in charge of the I-7 incident, right? This can't be just a coincidence. It must be destined by fate. Let's solve both of these cases. I'll make sure to steal the truth for you. That sounds promising. Now then, to the task at hand. Let's resume the investigation of the Normalium. It's a red liquid with a minty aroma, right? Let's go ask around. Let's go ta talk around, ask around, task around. Uh, anything important that I might want to present? Um, uh, ah, whatever. Uh, I don't need to right now. Okay, so, what do we want to start with? Let's see, there's a lot of stuff of stuffs. Um, lots of people to talk to. Um, let's start... Let's just talk to people. Let's start with the generics and then work our way up. Prosecutor DeBesti, order me out to let you investigate anything with this room. I absolutely cannot let you pass through any further than this. I'm sorry. I won't, since I can't pass through anyway, and you're standing in front of a wall. Uh, no, after all, you're Prosecutor Edgeworth. If you really wanted to, this wall wouldn't stop you. Wow, you're even more fearsome than I thought, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Just what kind of human do these people think I am? <laughs> nice. Alright, uh, let's also talk to this guy. We recovered the victim's body. Forensics are currently performing the autopsy. What of the investigation of the fountain? The fountain's completely clear. You could uh, cleanse both your heart and soul with it. A body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago, though. Is it really clear? That would be odd. Okay. And now you. I don't like you, but let's do it. Oi! How's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Hoi! Not quite, actually. We haven't found any clues yet. <laughs> I love how she steals the catchphrase and the, and the words and the quirks. It's great. You're doing it wrong. Hoy is only used when you're showing someone something. Also, yes, he is used to confirm and is also a grieving. Eep is used when you're afraid. <laughs> That's great. From one fraud to another. 
Phi is used when you don't like something. Oi is used when you're calling someone. Hmm, I see. I didn't know it was that deep. <laughs> oi, oi, Mr. Edgeworth, did you catch all that? Okay, be more serious. Yes, he. <laughs> I love you, Kay. Um, oh, I still can't leave. I'll never really be able to leave. Okay, uh, Larry, you're next. Hey, Edgy, move out of the way, dude. Hmm, what is it now? I'm in the middle of sketching Justy in all her beauty. I get a feeling this is gonna be my ma- Oh, <laughs> I get a feeling this is gonna be my masterpiece. We're getting in the way of my art. Really? How much have you drawn so far? Well, I only just decided on the composition. The drawing part starts now. Isn't it a bit early to be calling it your masterpiece? Well, this is Loris we're talking about, after all. <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright, um... Let's see. Alright, uh, as much as I don't want to. Let's talk to these freaks. Let's start with the one I like uh, a little more. Mr. DeBestie, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. Huh, I'm not getting going to move. Just uh, do what you can over there. Don't say that. It's probably the best if you just stand over there. The best, you say? Okay, I'll go stand over there. <laughs> it's easy, easy to control. So anything is fine as long as you add the best to it. <laughs> and, oh, and you. You're less funny. I feel that you conduct this uh, far as clearly been out of line. That your conduct... I feel your conduct has been out, out of fuck since I met you. So fuck you. I'll make sure to bring this matter up to the PIC. Of course you will. Do whatever you want. In return, we're gonna be doing whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the Little Miss Great Thief. I will have to report your misconduct to the PIC as well, young lady. But she's not a prosecutor! Sure, since it will only serve to increase my fame as the Great Thief. <laughs> Seems even Judge Courtney is unable to get a handle on Kay. <laughs> uh, she's great. Okay, uh, let's start with these statues. Wait, no, they're still Ray to talk to. Ah, fine. I feel like Ray, talking to Ray's important, but all right. Miles, how's the investigation been going? Well, little by little, I'm beginning to see the entire truth behind this case. Oh, that's good to hear. Uncle Ray better not fall behind, either. Uh, okay, fine. About the two cases. This case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago. I agree. The melted ice in the Winter Palace and the body of the victim from 18 years ago. I wonder why nobody ever noticed the body was missing after all this time. The only family Mr. Dover had was a young son. His son, and Mr. Gustavia's son, who attended the same elementary school. After the case, they both went missing. Oh, shoot! What? And they haven't been found yet? Haven't heard any news about Mr. Gustavia's son being found. As for Mr. Dover's son, he was found. His inheritance was delivered to him. Oh, really? There's a conspiracy here, I can smell it. And because of that, Mr. Dover never had a proper funeral. That way, they were able to make it look like the body had been in police custody. The autopsy report had also been forged, so nobody but the defense ever found out. Von Karma. You'd go that far! I followed you for so long and you were so evil! I mean, I was kinda evil, but that but that's super evil! Okay. Um... Uh, he said the time is unimportant. I was gonna save it for later, but if it's really unimportant, let's examine it now. It appears the body has already been recovered by the police. Why was the body of the victim from 18 years ago found floating in the fountain? I mean, wouldn't the body have gone all goopy after 18 years? Uh, that's only if they were actually dead. I don't know if I'd call it goopy. It certainly would have required a special method to preserve the body. Yeah, I wonder if such a method even exists. Hey, Mr. Forensic Guy, any new information? Yes! Normalium and Fatalium have been detected in the fountain water. They must have flowed through the stream from the Autumn Palace to the fountain. Aside from the chemicals, we also found high levels of sugar. Sugar. Nice. Working hard and investigating it. Sugar in the fountain water? What could have caused that? That is interesting indeed. Alright, fine. Let's start over here then. Examine. They're statues of a couple in Roman costume. Are these by Pierre Hoquet too? I think these were made in the middle years of his life, at the height of his fame. 
He modeled them after the Roman gods at the request of his beloved wife. The piece is entitled Venus, the goddess of beauty and her manservants. I think it's obvious who wore the pants in this relationship. <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay. The statue of a brave warrior fighting a snake. Was that also made by Pierre Hoquet? It appears to be one of his earlier works when he was enamored with fantasy and myths. The statue represents his heroic resolution to oppose hopeless difficulties in his youth. The title is... The Math Test. What? I know that feeling all too well! Uh... What? Okay. There's a fir tree in front of this door. But the door leads to the Autumn Palace. Blech. Fir trees are winter trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, why don't we paint an un paint it an autumn red? This is okay. Fir trees are green all year round. I knew that. <laughs> and then what about here? There's a maple tree in front of this door, but that door leads to the winter palace. Maple trees are autumn trees. Maple trees are autumn trees. So this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, how about we freeze it to make it look like a maple tree in the winter? Please don't complicate matters any further. And this? On the shelf for trophies commemorating Isaac Dover's work as Pierre Hoquet. He truly was a first-rate artist. These are quite. There are quite a number of trophies lined up here. These are quite a number of good trophies lined up here. But also work. Remember, you have some trophies too, Mr. Edgeworth. I'd love to have some too. If only there were a contest for thieves. How about it, Mr. Edgeworth? We could hold one at the prosecutor's office. I don't mind you holding a contest, but all the participants would be arrested. <laughs> uh, love it. Looks like this elevator is for authorized personnel only. What do you think is on the second floor? I heard it's the infirmary. Mr. Gustavia should be there right now, receiving medical treatment. I sure hope he's okay. We still need to talk with him once he regains consciousness. There's nothing we can do until he recovers. For now, we should find something else to do. Um, sir, yes, sir. With honor, sir. Okay, uh, what about... Yeah, let's examine this. In stealth of true movies... Alright, this is the same shit? Same shit, same shit. Oh, it's the same shit, same shit. Okay, and then what about this thing? Hmm. This lift trolley has just been left here. I wonder if it was used recently to carry something heavy. Like a dead body, quote unquote, question mark? Why'd I say quote unquote? I don't know. The surface of the platform appears to be wet. Hmm, I remember seeing this. Lift trolley. Someplace before. You mean during the I-7 incident? Ah, that's right, I remember now. It was in Dover's room. If I remember correctly, it was used to transport the ice sculptures. The lift trolley had a feature that allows you to adjust the height and angle of the platform. With just one of these, a single person could move the sculptures all by themselves. Interesting. Lift trolley data. Wow, how convenient! I want one too! What, for your thievering? Your thievering. What a beautiful word. Okay. 18 years ago, Dover used this to carry his ice sculptures. The surface of the platform is what? This lift is wet. Maybe he was carrying something that was wet? Like a body? Wait, no. It would have gotten wet after it was put in the fountain. Uh, Run away. Did someone move something with this? Um, 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 um. Anything on the back? No? There's, there's always something on the back. Come on, game! How is there not something on the back? I feel cheated. I feel betrayed. I do not have something on the back. God. What a failure of a piece of evidence. <laughs> wow, how convenient. I want one too. Okay. Why is there a lift trolley here? I guess that's something we'll need to think about. Yes, it could be related to the case. 